lines work. That's good. We're on right. Oh, can you eat? See that cat? He's <laughs> got a death wish. Yeah, he does. Holy cow. All right, guys, we're back. I know it's been a few days. Uh, we have been working on, I don't know, I wouldn't say a secret project. We mentioned in the last one that we could not get plexiglass. Uh, I went to Home Depot this week. I was looking for some, uh, we're looking for these little Allen screws. I just happened to stop by the plexiglass section. They had seven sheets of exactly what we needed. So I went ahead and bought two big ones. Um, they were three feet by six feet. Uh, I'll show you what they look like over here. Uh, Kevin's just countersinking the last uh, few holes for our test fit. Um, this is what we bought. Um, so you can see it's three feet by six feet. It is a large piece. We've already had this one setting. Um, we've already actually set our shape on this one as well. Because um, this is going to be for our front windshield. But uh, what we've done is we're right now, uh, till we can get the cage in it, because we've got to go uh, to another location and do the cage. So um, we're getting all these tabs and set. Um, we are basically just getting everything in line so that when we drive over there, we're not getting uh, any fluctuation from the wind. Uh, so today's project, which we're gonna bring you in on, uh, is gonna be the windshield. This really was not that hard. Um, the shape is not crazy. We're not dealing with um, an overly concave structure. So the bending wasn't massive. So the first step that we're going to do now is we're going to draw out our profile. All right, so we're working with the shop door closed today because uh, yeah. So if you're wondering why we're not showing you our lovely Washington scenery, that's why. Wait, hold on. We this is do not cut. So we got our uh, main portion mocked up. Now what we're doing is we're drawing out our profile again, but what we're doing is we're giving ourselves about an inch of play because I know it says measure twice, cut once, but uh, we're measuring, then we're cutting, then we're measuring again, then we're cutting again. We're getting a unique opportunity in this one because we've got a little bit of extra material, so we're gonna use it. Um, at the end of the day, we're gonna be sanding this down. Uh, we sanded this whole other one down. As you can see, it took quite a while to shape this. So, um, we wanna do it right. We don't want to end up missing a step on this. We're gonna finish drawing this up. We're gonna get this cut out with the router, and then we are gonna to to get to sanding. I think if you ever wonder about our dedication, you gotta realize we set up a freaking pop tent with holes in it so we can cut this glass on a wet table and it's 50 degrees outside. So it's working. If anybody questions our dedication, they, they know where to go. <laughs> uh, all right, so here's the piece in question. We're gonna throw it on the table, get the router out, start cutting. Kev, let's see what kind of profile we got. All right. All right, so as you can see, we cut over. It's plenty big. 
Oh, I'd say so. So we overlap now so we can see through the material. What we do is we go behind and we draw out our next best profile. And then from there, then we run the router again. We cut our second, make our second cut. Then we get it close. And then once we're still outside the lines, then we hit the sanding, then we start fine tuning. So let's get our second set drawn out and get cutting again. profile mostly roughed out uh, we're a little bit over so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our sander and we are gonna start trimming this out start shaving the edges and start kind of fine-tuning So we are in, we are in place. So you can see we've got good corners. We've got good matching all the way across the top. Kevin sides all the way in. Uh, we've got to clean up this portion down here. The next thing we're gonna do is get some of these marked and get some holes drilled so we can get some reference points. So once this top is set, then we're gonna mark our bottom because this is our final portion that we cannot screw up. So we're gonna get these holes drilled just, just as placeholders for now. And then after that, we're gonna get this section on the bottom marked, uh, cut, sanded, then some holes drilled. All right, so right now we're drilling some test holes. Uh, I mean, they're gonna be permanent, obviously, uh, for the installation, but for right now, we've gotta get some of these holes drilled so that when we go to drill into the body of the car, uh, those two will meet up and we're able to run some screws through there into those rib nuts we're gonna use. So here's what I mean by the counter sink. So we just drill a little hole, and we take the screw, set it in there, make sure it sits flush. And if it's not quite there, we'll just drill a little bit more. Part of that measure twice, cut once thing. There we are. All right, so where we are, we've got some more holes drilled. Uh, we've got some placeholders in for right now. Uh, we're getting these marked. We're not drilling these actually on the car, but we're gonna gotta get them started. So what we're doing is we're making a little mark at each one of these where we've already got our holes drilled. So we're gonna take this windshield back off. We're gonna get these holes drilled for our final fit. And then we're gonna get this uh, film peeled off and then maybe go for a drive in the rain. <laughs> so here's how she sits right now. Um, we did the pre-shaping yesterday, which we didn't show you guys. So what we did, uh, it was pretty hot here yesterday. It's about 80 degrees. Uh, we've got a black, our black donor car sitting out here under the tarp. Uh, it gets really hot in the sun. So what we did, we took our big sheet of Plexi and we just laid it over and draped it over the roof of the car. And we let it sit there all day. It was probably there a good eight hours just in that shape. So that's how we kind of preformed it. The bend is not drastic. So we're not looking for some crazy arc. Um, you know, whenever we go over to Ken's, he's got some cool cars in his garage and he was showing us he's got one where it's an actual 90 degree bend around the corner. Um, and that had to be drape formed and that was a custom windshield he had put in. Um, since we're so flat, and I'll show you here on this, kind of at the angle, we're pretty, we're pretty flat overall. Um, so we didn't have to do any exhaustive forming on this. There wasn't a huge process. 
So, uh, last screw is out. Windshield is gonna come out with us. We're gonna go countersink this, and we'll bring you guys in when we peel that plastic off. All right, so we're gonna try and show you this curve. This is a natural curve that we were able to do over a day just by letting it sit on our donor car. So as you can see, there's a little bit of a C in it, and that's all we needed to make that fit on there. So kind of a kind of a win-win. Oh, we gotta peel this. Yeah. Gotta peel this. We're gonna peel this. We're gonna peel this. It's the greatest part. This is the most fun part. We're gonna peel this. You get a vacuum and clean it up. stuff peeled off, I guess. It's in to our official. All right, guys, we are done. Windshield is in. Uh, once we get those rib nuts tomorrow, we'll finish it up. But for now, we have all the glass that we're allowed to have in. Our class weren't allowed to run windows, so it's official. It only took about a month to get it done, but um, it's done. So looks good. We'll go for a little test drive. Right. Test drive. That's kind of nice. Not having a whole bunch of wind in your face? No. A lot quieter? Yeah. You don't like... That's so nice. <laughs> Well, like we said, the glass is all in. Um, we're waiting on the tool for tomorrow. So we're doing a little more research into our class and it looks like we may not actually be allowed to run ABS in our class. Uh, so this issue we've been having with the clock spring uh, may, may work out in our favor. Um, we're looking at some ABS delete options. So there's a kit where you pull out the whole master cylinder and all the brake lines and re, uh, basically redo the whole system. Uh, we're contemplating doing that right now just because if we can't have it, there's no point in having the additional 30, 40 pounds uh, that that master cylinder and all the ABS system uh, have to offer. So there's a little more research to do as far as the wiring goes on that because that's a big job and we're pulling out some major, major components. So before we just jump into that, <laughs> we want to make sure we do it right. So uh, we're going to keep doing some research, but beyond that, um, as always, anything that's stolen or wrecked can always be rebuilt and raised. Thanks, guys.